Hello everybody, my name is Kala Tzadiki and in this video I'm going to be replacing the battery in a Garmin Nuvi 780. Now this is the same as 750, 760, basically these are all the same uh, with slight differences in their bezel color and performances inside. But as overall, replacing the battery is the same on all these units and the same, they take the same battery, so the batteries are similar or I should say interchangeable you can replace the battery from a 750 new v750 to new v765 or new v780 and so on all right let's get started the first thing you need is a uh, t5 hex head star shaped uh, tool or screwdriver and that's what we have here let's remove the back panel which has two screws and uh, yeah that's what we need to do okay now we took the screws off and uh, once you take the screws off you basically remove the outer shell from the lower and let's see if we have enough room to do that you have to have like a prying tool since uh, I use my nails but I, recomm I recommend that if you have weak nails get a plastic prying tool Okay, there it is. The case is out, and if you if you notice, the battery on these units, unlike all the other garments, is glued to the back panel. The battery is glued to the back panel. So you unplug the battery, unplug the speaker, and this is this is your uh, main unit, which you have no business with. You're just replacing the battery right now. So you set this aside and here is where you have to deal. What we need to do is we need to uh, force this out, it's glued so with a flat tool, like a flat uh, screwdriver, and we slide the screwdriver underneath and then twist it. It's the, that's all it is, it's, it's like sticky tape. And we will use uh, the, the new battery will have sticky tape, if not you can use double sided tape to put it, uh, in my case the new battery has sticky tape. Okay, so now let me get the new battery. So here's my new battery and I'm going to take out the sticky, double sided sticky thingy. So when you're putting the battery in, you have to make sure that the cable comes out from the bottom side where this is. You don't put it this way. You put the new battery this way and you put it like as much in the corner as possible like completely clearing off from this area. Now to be on the safe side I'm going to put a second layer of protection and I'll double tape it here. So if that glue gives in this tape will hold it from falling apart. And now we bring our little unit and we will plug it into the unit this battery should be fully charged by the way I fully charge it with my I have an external charger let's see that's that and now we will plug in the speaker speaker goes right there The, these plugs go in one way, so you have to be very careful. I 
I want to show it to you at the same time plug it in so it's hard there you go you see how it goes in like that this goes in there this goes in here now there's another thing you need to know that is that uh, this unit has FM antenna and the FM antenna is for trans transmitting the voice the audio to your FM radio and this is where the FM antenna gets connected so make sure this is not blocked with tape or anything this is where it goes it's getting connected to there okay let's see you have to make sure it snaps in correctly it has to snap in correctly once it's all flush without any gaps or anything it's totally snapped in only then you're good to go to put the screws back now we will put the screws back and the unit should fire up without any external power and it should have 100 percent battery charged let's see okay moment of truth there it is firing up let's see the flicker is because the screen uh, uh, brightness is set to low so that's why it's flickering see as soon as by the way there's your battery 100% so now I'm going to go and change the display to 100%. There will be no more flickering. No more flickering. And let's put this to nighttime. It's good for video. When you're when you're record when you're taking videos of a screen uh, of a Garmin screen, it's good for it to be in the nighttime mode. So now let's see if our battery is indeed 100% charged as I said. So to do that, you simply press and hold the battery icon. Don't let go. Just press and hold, with, not with a sharp object, with something that's not going to scratch the screen. And the battery capacity is at 96%. And that's because I had I char charged it last night and it was sitting on the table, so lost 4%, but this is a good battery. And that's it. Now I click Exit. And the unit should boot up and I am good to go with a brand new battery in my Garmin Nuvi 780. Which is the same 760, 65, 750 or 780. Alright, thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe.